Man, this can be so frustrating. You're trading live and this message pops up. Now this can happen after your chart refreshes or your strategy gets inadvertently turned off and then back on. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do to help avoid this. And also if it happens to you, I'm going to show you how to properly get through this dialog box so your strategy can stay in sync with the live market. Just real briefly, this can happen. This uh, getting out of sync with the live market can happen when you lose your internet connection even just for a second. It can happen if you refresh the data on your strategy. If you just performed a future roll, you might run into this. Or if you accidentally close the TradeStation workspace and on those rare occasions where TradeStation crashed or you closed it, this can definitely happen as well. Basically, there's two ways to handle this. Number one, correct your settings. If you head over to the automation tab, you're going to find this little checkbox that I have highlighted here. Adopt the real world position of the current account. This can go a long way in helping you out, but keep in mind, this assumes that the current real world position as a single entry. In other words, if you scaled into your trade, this may not work correctly. But if you bought all of your contracts or your shares with one order, you should be okay. But what happens if you forget to set this or that pop-up just happens anyway? Let's take a look at fix number two, which is the pop-up fix. All right, we get this strategy pop-up. An open order exists. Do you want to cancel this order? Well, let me go to the live market and show you what I do. When we update, this is the actual chart that I'm running uh, this um, particular strategy on. Uh, this happens to be the ES intermarket system. And so, of course, on the chart, I moved over to ESU17, when this, which is the current front month. When you do that, you know, the chart's going to refresh with the data and recalculate, and it's going to give you this message in TradeStation saying all uh, an open order exists. Do you want to cancel this order? Um, the strategy has uh, either recalculated or is no longer running. Suggestion, if your strategy is being recalculated due to data correction or data connection, uh, not an initiated change, you should choose to cancel the order. You will automatically be prompted to place a new order after the calculation is complete. By selecting do nothing, orders may no longer be recognized as having placed by a strategy. So what I'm going to do is go to cancel order and this should now be in sync with our strategy. And it's, I mean, it's a little confusing, right? Here's our, our order up here. What it's saying is it seems like you want to cancel that right now, but what you want to do, what it's really referring to is, hey, there's a, where this has been refreshed, there's a, we have an open order on the strategy. Do you want the strategy to cancel and uh, this order? And what it's really saying is kind of let's tie this live trade with this strategy. So what this should do is when we get a sell signal finally on this um, strategy, this live order that's on here now should be synced and should actually execute. Most people when they see that they're going to just put cancel or do nothing. Uh, which will do just the opposite of probably what you want. In other words, it would, ignore, it would ignore this live trade. And so down the road, you get a sell signal, um, either a profit target or a, a stop, and you may not be filled. Uh, and most likely, you probably won't be. So that's how you set that up. Join me and other Easy Language users over at Easy Language Mastery, where you can download free sample code, discover great trading ideas, and learn how to become a successful trader using easy language.